WVM. Today, Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin taking a major step toward planning for the possibility of overturning Roe v. Wade. Good evening, I'm Jessa Breisbeck. Natalie has the night off. Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin says it will soon stop scheduling abortion procedures. CBS 58's Adam Reif live in our newsroom to explain why tonight. Adam. Well, Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin says Wisconsin abortion providers are in what they call a precarious position. A 173-year-old state law means they might have to immediately suspend abortion services the same day the Supreme Court decision comes out. So in order to not be caught off guard, June 25th will be the last day the organization will schedule abortion procedures. We've been preparing for this mentally, emotionally. It's been... It's been rough. Pro-choice advocates say the writing has been on the wall for weeks after the draft decision that leaked in early May made it pretty clear Roe versus Wade will be overturned. Every ding of the phone, I thought, oh my God, is this the notice about the SCOTUS hearing? It, you know, every text message. Congresswoman Gwen Moore and other allies say safe and legal abortion are at risk for people in Wisconsin. The history of the United States from our founding until now has always been about expanding people's rights. And we're going backwards. Just four health centers provide abortion procedures in the entire state. They're located in just three of the state's 72 counties. That means many patients that need abortion care often must travel and face mandatory 24-hour waiting periods that require at least two visits. In explaining the decision, Planned Parenthood Associate Medical Director Dr. Allison Linton wrote in a statement, quote, to suspend care on the same day for patients who have traveled great distance and at great cost is inconvenient in the least. Traumatizing for those who are caught by surprise after a highly anticipated appointment under difficult circumstances and dangerous for those who are in the midst of an abortion procedure. Allies are still fighting as best they can, but worry about a domino effect. It is putting the rights that are not enumerated in the Constitution at risk. And that's all of them, not just the right to abortion. After June 27th, Planned Parenthood says it will help clients find abortion care out of state. But if the Supreme Court does not issue a decision on the 27th, Planned Parenthood will determine whether it makes sense to resume abortion appointments. In the newsroom, Adam Rife, CBS 58 News. Adam, thank you. And new